Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to make weapons and skills require ammo. The first thing you'll have to do is download a plugin from this site. I'll leave the link to this site in the description. Once you're here, scroll down till you see the JS file download. Click it, then click here where it says download. Look for the file, or click it and show in folder. Once you know where it is, Look for the file that your game is saved to. For me, it's computer, documents, games, and the name of my game. Once here, go to your JS folder, then the plugins folder, and move your new plugin to that folder. When this is done, go to your Jigsaw plugin button, click a row, click the name scroll box, find your plugin, and choose OK. Apply and OK. These are a list of keywords that will show up in that plugin. Each of them can be used for a different thing, but for this tutorial, we will only look at this keyword. Control C or right click and copy. Now we'll want to make our ammo. We'll go to our database cogwheel. I'll go to items, change the maximum, click a new row, name my item, make it not consumable, add an image. I'll also change the scope to one enemy and the occasion to battle screen. You can add a description, but it's not necessary. Apply when you're ready. Now we'll make our weapon that will use the ammo. First going to types, adding a new area, clicking a new area, naming our weapon, and apply. Onto the actual weapon, we will click the weapons tab, change maximum to add one more slot, click on new row, give it a name, an image, change the weapon type to our new weapon type, and change the parameters and the price how we decide to. Choose Apply. To make our new weapon use the ammo, we will click and Control V to add our keyword. The I is the ID number of our ammo. To find your item's ID number, click the item tab and see what number is by your item. Since this is 10, we will go back to our weapon and change the I to 10. The C is how many of the ammunition you need per attack. I will change the speed to 1. Apply when you're ready. We can also make a skill that requires arrows using the same weapon. To do this, I will copy our key with the 10 and the 1 still there and create a skill that will require this weapon. I'll change the maximum to 11, choose my new area and give it a name. I'll give it an image, change to the skill type I want, I'll leave it for magic for this tutorial. Change the MP cost, give it a message, and switch it to the weapon I want being used. We'll put HP damage and give it our formula, and under notes, control V to input our keyword. Once this is ready, we will apply. For the skill, make sure the class you want the skill to be with has the skill and can use the weapon. Apply. I'm going to go ahead and give my actor a bow to start with, as well as give a chest for an arrow. When we're ready, we can test our game. Make sure to save your changes before testing. I'll pick up the arrow, and I should have one arrow now. I can see in the top how much ammunition I have left. If I go to my magic and highlight my skill, it will also tell me how much ammunition I have left. To the right of the skill, you will also see how much ammunition is required. I'm going to use a regular attack. Since I'm holding a bow and can't do a regular attack without ammo for it, the top says I have no ammunition and the attack keyword is grayed out. Going to my magic, my skill will also have a grayed keyword. This ends this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any suggestions of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.